Hello and welcome back to ArchiQuest. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create presentation sections using Just Revit. In my previous video, I made mention of how to create presentation elevation using Just Revit and we downloaded some PNG files which we are also going to be using in this project. Join me as we start. So I have my Revit file already open and this is a section that I have already placed on sheets. If you want to know how to place uh, views on sheets, just check my previous video, you will see how to do that. So I have placed this section on sheet and the first thing we need to do is to activate the sheet. You can do that by double clicking this to activate this view or you right click and you will see activate view right here. So once we have activated the view, the first thing we need to do is to get our baseline. We need to draw our baseline. So for us to do that, since this is a section, you know that a section is going to cut both the building and also the soil. So we're going to be having like a brown feel beneath the building. So for us to do that, we're going to click on our annotation view, we're going to click on our region, we're going to click on solid black, but we edit this, duplicate, we we'll click on it, we write it, it, okay, we change this color to, let's say brown, let's use this brown, okay, okay, then we can draw our editing. So let's say we want it to look like this, then let's do a little bit of uh, design, let's say we, we need it this way. So once you are done, you click on escape, then you can trim this, click on this, you trim this this way, and then you trim this this way. Click on good, and now you have your brown finish. So you see, it's not showing that design that we created. So we just need to extend our crop region so that I can be able to capture it. So this is it. So once you extend the crop region, you can see the whole the design that we made. You can see it here. Let's cut this a little bit. Let's stop this at this point. So we can hide our crop region. Now you see this is too thick, so we just need to do some editing to it. Let's reduce the color, let's make it a little bit light. Uh, now getting the right color is, is the, the main issue. Let's check this, let's see if this is better. Okay, I think we'll go with this, I think this is, this is nice. Okay, so now let's make this uh, lines, invisible lines, so that we don't get to see them, invisible lines, we click on good, okay, so this is it, so this is how it's looking and it's looking okay, so we need to do some more editing, let's place this, this way, okay, then we'll draw this to the end of this place here, and we'll also split it around this corner here, and we'll extend it this way, Let's make sure the one in the center is invisible line, invisible line, and the one at the edge is the normal line. Okay, the center is invisible line, then we can adjust it to the edge. So once we click on good, we can override graphics in view by element and let's say projection line. Let's make it seven. Okay, now see it has already made only this external parts tick then the internal ones are still as light as possible which is what we are looking for so the next thing we're going to do is to use field region come under the region let's use a solid white to cover this point right here we don't need to be seeing all those uh, walls inside we need, we need to cover it up click on ok good now we need to draw our hard core so we're going to be using lines to draw our hard core. Let's okay. This is overhead line. We're going to change this to thin line. So we can click here, draw the hard core. Then we can select both of them. We can group it, create group. Okay. Then we can copy and paste at interval.
okay so that's that for that we are done with that now the next thing we're going to do is our floors we need to override graphics for the floor Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is to, I don't, okay, sorry, I don't like this color, so I'm going to change it, let's edit this color, let's make it gray, let's make it gray, okay, good, so I think this is better, now the next thing we'll be doing is to change the color of the wall, so select, hold control to keep selecting the walls, this, this, sorry, this is not a wall, you hold shift to deselect okay right click override graphics in view by element surface pattern solid color then select this and let's make it light okay good so this is perfect you also do the same thing for the this door this is a glass sliding door so you override graphics in view by category for all glass doors you make the transparency okay good so you can now see you can see this door that is inside you can see it a little bit so that's the essence of transparency okay after that you click on this override graphics in view by category for the roof surface pattern you make it uh, brown let's say Let's make it this color. Okay, let's try. Let's try to get something nice. Okay, this. I think this is okay. Okay, okay. Good. Then we do the same thing for the doors. Overall graphics in view by category, surface pattern, and we also give it a very nice. Let's use this. I think this will be okay. On. Mm, no no let's let's change it let's change it let's use let's use this okay okay for all the doors this override graphics in view by elements sorry not hide override graphics in view by elements white transparency okay good so this is it this is perfect so this is perfect so the next thing we're going to do is to hide all this grid right click hide in view by category the same thing for the level hide in view by category then we are going to click on the graphics display option leave it on hidden line we should smoothen this out shadows no let's sketch a line enable extension 2 then background sky let's give it gradient okay so this is it okay then okay now you see the base uh, line the base horizon has covered the has covered the field region that we had here so what we need to do we're going to use this crop view line to adjust it 
so we double click on the crop view line to edit then we use this line to get this shape out of it okay good then we trim use this to trim this and also to trim this we click on good and that is it we hide our crop line and we have something like this so you see how nice this is coming out this is looking okay so after that what we need to do is to reduce the color of this let's reduce the color of this so we select them again reduce the color of our graphics in view of our graphics in view by elements let's reduce the color let's reduce it a little bit make it lighter okay all right okay i think this is this is better this is better then the next thing we need to do change this to solid black solid black good this is okay solid black then so after that we add our png trees and human beings in my previous tutorial video i showed you people how to download png trees so it's almost the same step it's the same step basically the same step but in this tutorial i'm just going to be copying from there into this project so i open the folder I copy the three and I place it into this project okay the same thing I copy the human being control C and I place it into this project okay okay I do the same thing for this other place for this other people and this bed control C to copy then I place it into this project control V okay so let them just be here scattered we're going, we're going to arrange them very well later so now another thing i noticed that we don't do is this is a section so the wall is going is supposed to go beneath the ground level to show the foundation wall so we need to edit this we'll click on uh, square or rectangle tool then we draw a rectangle wall right here let's make the dimension let's say 900 mm okay then we select it we we'll copy it from this point we we'll place it sorry we we'll copy it from the center we place it here center and we also place it here to center so now this one we need to adjust this one to this point we we'll click on good and we we'll bring to front perfect so this is it so this is how it's going to look like so now we adjust these trees click on this one we bring it down a little bit okay so let's shift it to this edge right here okay then the same thing for this tree bring it down a little bit okay and we move it to this point now the beds we'll just bring them down small to this point you can copy the beds this place and here okay so that's all for beds then the human beings we do the same for them we bring them down a little bit this one too as well we bring it down so we just arrange the human beings very well so that it looks uh, presentable okay so this is one okay so we can also copy the human beings into the project to give it a little uh, anthropometry so we do this we, we move this up here this also we move it up to this point okay then this we copy this and place it right here we move him up to this point okay good now let's scale him a little bit let's scale him down a little bit let's scale this down a little bit okay all right so this is looking okay let's scale this up small then we use our arrow button to move them up okay so this is looking nice okay the next thing we do is to also copy this tree and let's make this one smaller Let's make this smaller 
pick it up a little bit. We select the human beings by the side. Sorry. Okay, this we bring to front. Okay. And we also do this for this other side. We copy this three and we place it right here. So we move it this way. Okay. So this is looking nice. Now the next thing we need to do is this wall, external wall right here. We need to we need to give it another different material or color. So we select this. Let's select it this way, like this. Okay. Then we filter. We we'll check only wall. All right. So we right click, override graphics in view by element surface pattern and we give it a different color let's say we give it make it ash light ash okay apply now you see the color has changed okay then okay now for this wall what we need to do is to select this wall we come under this edit type edit open the material then under the graphic appearance we make this brown Let's look for brown. Make this this color brown. Okay. 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 Okay, now you see it's the line that changed. So we do the same thing. We edit. We edit it. We we'll make sure this is black because this is the line. Okay. Then the background color will make give it solid feel okay and we will give it that brown color that we want let's see okay it's brown i think this is okay 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 good so this is it this is perfect okay now this is how you create presentation section using revit if this video was in any way helpful to you, kindly subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and don't forget to share this video to your friends. Also, turn on the notification button so that you don't miss out on interesting videos because in this channel we publish videos like this on a weekly basis. See you guys in our next video.